everyone, welcome back to Cosplay Sewing School. Today we are going to learn how to extract a printable PDF file from a large artboard in Adobe Illustrator. Go to File Print and what we are going to do is we are going to print to an Adobe PDF. This is my cheater way of extracting page by page to print. So we're going to go to Tile Full Pages and I'm going to select a one inch overlap and then if you use that little placement rectangles there, you can kind of pick how you want it to look best. And so this is going to get my pattern cut apart into actual pages. All right, so now we have printed to a PDF. We're going to open that PDF back up in Adobe Illustrator, not in Acrobat. Just hit that range to all and uncheck import PDF pages as links for optimal performance. What that's going to do is make sure that the actual images that were created in that PDF file are embedded into this AI file that we're about to make. All right here. So now give it just a second. We have opened it up. And now that we have that opened up, we are going to go ahead and change that to three columns on our artboard and boom, we are done. So the next step is I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw a rectangle here. Now, the way that the overlaps work is that if you put a one inch overlap in that tile full pages, you're gonna have one half inch and one half inch on each side that you would essentially cut off to make the overlap. And what I like to do in my patterns is I cut off one side and then match it over top and then tape it up so that there's a little bit behind the paper. In order to do this easily, I'm going to put a bunch of rectangles on here and color them in. So when I print, it's easy to see where my alignments are and where I should be cutting. And I'm gonna click the transform tool and I'm going to make this 0.5 inches wide and 11 inches tall, which is the size of the page. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is use the align tool and I'm going to align it to the right and to the top of the artboard. And what that's going to do is allow me to have an exact placement. So the next thing I'm going to do is copy and paste, but instead of using Control V, I'm going to use Control Shift V. That will actually put it back in the exact same location on that artboard from the artboard before. Then I'm going to also do just a regular Control V and I'm gonna line one up on the left side. So on the middle pages, uh, I'm gonna have a left and a right. On the left side pages, I'm gonna have just a right side rectangle. And on the right pages, I'm gonna have just a left side rectangle. Okay, copy, paste. There we go. So now I'm just gonna control shift V and control C, control shift V, and you can see me very speedily create that nice printable file. We're gonna save it as a PDF. We're going to then close this and open our PDF and print it out. Now, once we have gotten into the print screen, there's a few things we need to look at. We need to make sure that we have actual size selected and that print on both sides of paper is unchecked. And that is the key to printing it out accurately. Just kind of look around, check and make sure everything's all good. And that is how you would print this PDF. We are all done. So if you have any questions, make sure that you put them down in the comments and be on the lookout for more pattern draft videos. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And I hope that you visit me back soon. Bye.